Jump in, losers! We're trying new shit today! <laughs> That'll fucking do. Okay, let's go. Hello, head pads for chat. Hello there, YouTube. Fancy seeing you here. It's been a while. Shit happened and uh, here we are three, four months later. It's fine. Everything's fine. Anyway, hi, I'm Jen. I'm a traditional comic book artist. So you might be thinking that because I'm a traditional artist, that means I try a whole bunch of traditional stuff and I know how to use traditional things. No, I basically know how to use watercolors, and um, my usual ink, which is my Delita 3, with this lovely ink pen, which is a G-nib. Other than that, I'm pretty fucking clueless. So, today, we are going to try something that I genuinely have never seen before, and I have no idea how to use. So we have the chat that's right here that is no doubt going to help me figure this shit out live because these are bamboo ink pens um but yeah i was just like scrolling through jackson's art and i found these things and i was like what the fuck is this i don't understand and then some kind people bought these for me through my throne wish list and here we are they have three different sizes and I thought that the best way to go about this was to have it be tried out on artwork that already exists. So this is the small size. That's my dog um, playing with his toy in the background. We may need to remove him. And this is, uh, I assume, the medium. They're just dip pens made from bamboo, right? Well. Yes, I thought so too. However, I don't understand why they have two ends like this. You'd have to put ink into one end and then have it drip down. Like, I, I genuinely have no idea. I'm just gonna go remove the dog. Give me a sec. It's gonna be a fucking mess to edit. For reference before we do anything, this is the pen that I normally use for all of my work. So it's just a Delita uh, nib holder, and this is a Nikko G pen. So I'm just gonna show you the size difference. <laughs> now even that is a lot bigger. So um, this is already gonna feel incredibly bulky. I am confused why they decided to make two nibs on one thing. I guess it's kind of smart in a way, but because it's hollow, my brain immediately goes, Wow, do you take ink and just like have it roll down like a little slide here? Wee! But I think what we're gonna start off by doing is just using it like a normal dip pen. They're dual ended, so one side is finer and the other not as defined. I'm gonna be honest, they both look pretty similar. No, you know what? You're right. Okay, look at this. We're discovering this together. One side has the little hole in it. Do you see that? And the other side does not. Huh, there is a difference. Okay, we're gonna start off by finding some ink. So we've got some options here. And um, because they we're just kind of having fun with something, this is not meant to be like printed. I apologize, my dog does not allow fun. Because it's just been Christmas, I feel like we need to use the red. I should have really prepared this, shouldn't I? <laughs> Fuck. I'm just gonna go and um, scavenge through my recycling. I'll be right back. Hello again. I knew I had something that kind of resembled pots. I do love these. Uh, these are uh, Daler and Rowney pearlescent liquid acrylic. So these might actually not work for, for this, but they do come with a little pipette and they look beautiful. So we're actually gonna at least try it. That does look kind of like thick paste, doesn't it? Shit. We're gonna start off 
with the thinnest, most mini one. I guess we're just gonna dip it. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> do I just, do I just dip it like that? Oh my God. Any artists who have used bamboo pens before, I am so sorry. Okay, I'm just gonna try it like this, I guess. Are the acrylics, just add water to thin it out. Okay, we'll try it without uh, thinning out first. So here we go. Oh. That's not too bad. That's not bad. What? I mean, you have to kind of re-dip every stroke, basically. Oops. But that does work. That feels really nice to hold as well. Maybe it's because I've got very small hands, but like just holding this feels very lovely to me. Yeah, this is not what I was expecting either. I'd kind of expected it to be a mess, to be honest. Uh, but let's try to put some water in it, as was suggested. So we're just using a regular pipette for that. Getting some of our water. And just literally watering it out a bit. And we can just mix it with this, who cares? Okay. I mean, this isn't deep enough, but this is all I could find when I was scavenging through our bins. I mean, if you compare this to using the Nikko uh, G pen, obviously with a G pen, or like kind of like any nib like this, you can push it and you can then control the weight of the line. It's it's very interesting when you're using the bamboo because obviously you can't push down onto this and create like a different um, weight of line. So you are kind of stuck with what you've got. But I, I can't quite explain it. It's really, it's really comfy to work with. I actually may start using this a little bit. You have to dip a lot more though. And sometimes you do get the blobs there. But like, I, I really like this. It feels good. So that's the thinnest one. And I can honestly say, that's lovely. That's genuinely lovely. See, now I'm just like inking this for fun. <laughs> We're meant to be moving on to the next one, but like I'm literally just enjoying this so much. The only issue I would say is that you have to re-dip it a lot. As long as you don't mind going back and forth and dipping constantly, and then sometimes having slight blobs like this, then I would totally recommend these. These are very nice. And also bamboo just feels nice to hold. Can I just wash this off though? expect bamboo like not to hold on to ink obviously and that might that could make it look really quite pretty but yeah that's not gonna come off and I'm not the kind of artist who will go and literally clean all of my tools because I'm disgusting so these will definitely end up looking horrific in like a couple of goes the other end looks thinner and, lo and uh, longer does that look thinner? It does, doesn't it? We're just gonna give the other end a quick go. Like, I'm not kidding. 
This is so good. <laughs> this is so nice. Like, if you don't mind a bit of a clumpy kind of texture, which, you know, I don't mind. And we haven't had any, like, real accidents, have we? So far. Yeah, I, I love it. So, having done the, the first thin one, I can say that is really fun and I highly recommend it. I don't think they're very expensive either. Okay, so for the next one up, this is the medium size. So if you look at that, and then obviously we have the big boy. Look at my thumb and look, look at that. Let's try the medium. With that, we're going to use a different ink. So we're going to go for the silver moss. Okay, there we go. Uh, and we're just going to water it down immediately. Just a few drops like that. Okay, cool. Now, because this is so thick and big, lol, um, I don't know how we're going to actually make it work. Um, hold on. Oh, no. <laughs> Oh no, how am I supposed to make this work? Um, chat. <laughs> how do I do this? Do I just like tip it onto it? Pipettes onto it? Oh, oh. Look, I only uh, get the smartest people as my mods. They are very clever. Um, is this what you're supposed to do? <laughs> uh, hold on. I think we may have watered it down too much. Um, I don't think this is gonna work. Wait, everyone, we're just, you can solve this. You just put more moss on it. It's fine, it's fine. Okay, here we go. Mix it, mix it, mix it. Suck it up. Um, I really hope nobody ever watches this stuff and like uses it as teaching material. Don't, don't do this. <laughs> That's my dog coming in to check if I'm um, having a crisis or something. Okay, let's just try it like this. This might not work. So because I'm not very good at this, uh, my dog will do the next bit. <laughs> Apparently not. Okay, go over there, honey. Go over there. Go to your bed. Go to your bed. Good in. Good boy. Okay. All right. Sorry about that. This feels very chunky. It, this feels clumsy to hold. Oh. Okay. Can you even see that? Oops. That's cool. Why is that thinner than the small one? This doesn't make any sense. Why would you want a bigger pen if the lines are the same? Hand sizes to feel better. Oh yeah, that's, yeah, maybe that, yeah. That is a good point actually, yeah. I know a lot of artists who actually use um, like hand things around their pens, the grip grips. Yeah, that's it. They use like proper grips and stuff so that they don't get repetitive stress from having like holding the same thing every day. I'm going to be honest. I quite like that. Try more of a pulling line than a sideways one. You mean flat and then down. I'll do a pulling line on this long bit here. Okay, here we go. I 
I mean, there is much more of a splodge in it. So going into a, a pulling line, as, as I have just been educated it being called, <laughs> uh, this feels very unnatural and it does not feel good. This feels weird. I don't like it. Yeah. I don't know, this is starting to look pretty shit. <laughs> Out of the two, so far, I, I still prefer the, the little one. This feels genuinely lovely to use. And I can see myself using this in the future. Um, as long as I don't need that, like, line uh, difference. But with a Nikko G pen, you got, like, a very thin nib there. And then you can, like, play with it and, and like, push it down and you get thicker. It's so nice. But yeah, with this, it's like, I hope you like that thickness because that's all you're getting. <laughs> okay. So with this one, I'm like, yeah, I just, it, this feels slightly clumsy to hold. So I, yeah, I'll probably try to use it a bit more and get used to it. Because it's probably also good for my hands to have like different sized tools that I'm holding. You are going to get some remnants of... Uh, of the of the ink left which is fine i like it i like seeing dirty tools it means that you've actually been working i don't like clean tools any kind of clean art supplies it means that you haven't even tried them in my opinion <laughs> don't listen to me for the final one i think we're gonna hop in and do waterfall green yeah let's do that so we're just gonna grab the final thick boy Maybe put one in. Boop. As a reminder, this is the largest size that you can find on Jackson's art. Look, you could kill someone with this. And I have no idea how I'm going to get enough on it. I'm going to have to suck it up again, aren't I? Not like that. This is not how you're meant to use these. You're just meant to have like a deeper pot and then you just dip it. Um, I mean, it looks pretty. Hold on. <laughs> Please don't judge. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing with this. I don't know. Okay, whatever. The bubbles. We just just deal with the bubbles. There'll be like a little surprise party. It's like when you're popping balloons, which some people enjoy and I will never understand. Thickest boy incoming. So we'll do it sideways first. Oh, that's already a lot thicker. Whoa. Mates. That's nice. It feels like I'm trying to like draw holding a banana. <laughs> it almost feels like regressing to when you were a child. And like you were holding, I don't know, crayons or something for the first time and you've got tiny hands because you're a fucking child. If you ever want to feel like you're five years old or whatever, <laughs> get the big boy. Because, yeah, this is a... Uh... I couldn't, I'm going to be honest with you, I could never use this on any of my actual work because I would be too scared that I would fuck it up. Holy crap. Do you get the same issues with these, uh, say, a glass pen? I am glad you brought that up. Because, yeah, as I said earlier, um, I have not tried a lot of supplies. Because I kind of just have my um, watercolour and my regular pen and my... Um, brushes that I have with my watercolour. That's kind of what I use. So I haven't had the opportunity to really play around with tools that are kind of new to me, including glass pens. I have never tried a glass pen, but I have seen YouTube videos of people doing like ASMR glass pen illustrations and it looks incredible. And part of me 
really wants to try glass pens. Uh, but I also know that I would be terrified because you're holding glass. Like, <laughs> would you not be constantly like shaking like this? Like, shit, what if I break it? Because um, the other issue I have among many is that um, I will stress test anything you give me. I am known for breaking things, dropping things, you know, squeezing things a little bit too tight and they will smash. I have in the past held a light bulb. We were just changing a light bulb. I held it and I smashed it in my hand because like, I guess I just don't have control. <laughs> My great strength. <laughs> but yeah, so um, holding glass would make me immensely uncomfortable. A glass pen is strong. As you're a lefty, I would not order a glass pen. Buy one in person. Some have sharp nibs. I asked around about glass pens. The people who tried them hated them because they didn't work as promised. See, that's making me want to try them even more, even though that is, like, really fucking scary. And yes, in case anyone's wondering, yes, I have stabbed myself with this more often than I care to actually <laughs> admit. Because uh, the lovely thing about metal is that, you know, it's very sturdy. It's, uh, you know, you can get these really thin lines. It's really good. And you can flex it, it's great. But it's also literally a little knife. This is a little stabby stabby poo. And um, I have a really bad, sorry it's a tangent now. I have a really bad habit of whenever I use my, um, my ink stuff here, I tend to do that. I'm trying to get out of this habit. But the reason I do this is because I don't want to obviously put it down because if you put it nib down, you're blunting the nib. So I literally do that. And then, of course, I will put it on the side and I'll be like, oh, I'm just going to go and get something. And then immediately smacko and stab myself in the hand. Uh, <laughs> so I'm working on that. But yes, I do like hurt myself all of the time with all of my tools. So <laughs> I should I should not be allowed to be an artist. Sorry, this is such a tangent now. I, I'll edit all of this out, don't worry. In between painting, obviously you clean your brushes if you're a real person. You don't do what people at art school did, which is clean it and then suck it. Don't do that. People did some weird shit at art school. Uh, please don't suck your, your brushes because you don't want to be ingesting paint. Um, <laughs> but yeah, you do that and then you have kitchen roll, not your mouth. And you just like clean it off, yeah? So like, uh, I'm just trying to teach myself to do this. Just put it in the middle, create a little penis. There you go. This is literally how I make sure that I do things properly. Um, I think about two balls and a dinkle. There you go. Two balls dinkle. And that's how I uh, make sure I don't stab myself. Anyway, what, what were we talking about? <laughs> what the um, yeah, anyway. Uh, <laughs> maybe having the chat on was a mistake. <laughs> we're going to do a down pull pull down. That's the technical term. Trust me. I have a degree. Okay, here we go. Ooh, I immediately, immediately think of comic book panels. Look at that thickness. Look at that. What? Okay, I can actually maybe be converted for this. That's so nice. Hold on. I'm gonna have to redip it though. This would. This would actually drive me bonkers. Um, don't scream, but that's a lot of bubbles. Should we just try to do with the bubbles? Like, what is traditional art, if not a little bit of risk? Let's go. Let's see what happens.
Oh god. Here we go. Ooh. That's cool. Look at that. Oh, I love that. Wow. You couldn't really do any details with this. I mean, you could. If you want to make life difficult for yourself. But doing like thicker lines for something, this could be really good. So if we, for example, were to do uh, this bit here. Oh, never mind. Ink? Where did you go? The main drawback is the fact you have to keep on re-dipping. I mean, that might also be because I'm using pearlescent acrylics, okay? Liquid acrylic. I'm, I'm sure that because I'm not using the particular ink that is good for bamboo, um, that might be affecting it. But other than that, this is great. And it has, we haven't really had any accidents, have we? Normally, whenever you're doing any kind of ink or whatever, you tend to have like explosions and shit. That's not just me. That's like a, that's a thing. That like when you're trying new inks and stuff, you will normally have like little blob explosions and stuff that just kind of happens. We haven't really had that. So it's almost like the bamboo is just keeping everything very contained. Maybe it's because it has no flex. I don't, again, I don't know enough about these at all. This is just a first impression of a tool. So I have no idea like how these are meant to work or anything like that. Before I stop this, should I just try it with the liter ink? Should I just grab one of these and just try with my actual ink, my actual comic book ink? There's only one correct answer. There you go, there you go, see? <laughs> see, this is why you should be on Twitch. <laughs> you basically go, hey chat, can you just say things I want to hear? And then if they don't say things you want to hear, you just ignore them. <laughs> can we get it in view? In shot? We'll grab the thinner, longer side, yeah? Oh, it's so beautiful. Oh my God. Okay, hold on. Oh, hell yeah. Ooh. Oh my God, it's already got like a blob at the end. Uh, hold on. I'm shaking off a bit more excess. Ooh, that is, uh, that's thick. Oh, that's very thick. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> No, we, no, I could not do this. Um, this is definitely a no. This feels terrible and very scary. I don't like it. Mum, can you come and pick me up? I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like it. Oh, shit. That's awful. <laughs> um. I can uh, safely say that I would not use the bamboo as a replacement for my other ink pens because this is out of control. Oh, do not, do not want. Holy shit. Hi Jen, I just tuned in, so I don't know if it's been said before, but bamboo is especially suitable for inks, but big formats only. Yeah, yeah, I'm, um, I'm starting to uh, get that. <laughs> this is, this is not working. This is definitely a no-no, because I don't really have a large format scanner. 
Um, I am kind of restricted to working on small comic book pages. I have to fit everything into an A4 scanner. So all of my comic work has to be really small. And now I'm used to it. So, yeah, this this no feel good. This feel very, very clumsy. Even this feels super clumsy. Holy shit. Oh my god. Part of making stuff is the feeling of making the thing needs to feel good. Because otherwise, why are you making the thing? And the feeling of making this is not good. The feeling is, oh my god, please get me back to my my normal ink nib because this is uh, just a disaster waiting to happen. I can't believe that I haven't fucked this up even more already. Honestly. I can feel the anxiety. <laughs> this is just like... Because don't get me wrong, like, I do love, um, I mean, the whole point for me of making stuff traditionally is that it does have an element of risk. And obviously the whole thing about feeling the, the different materials and stuff like that, I'm very tactile and I love the process of making something traditionally. But there are certain things where I'm just like, it's so scary or it just feels so clumsy that I can't, I can't get into it. And this is one of those times. I'm just like, no, no, no. No, fuck no. Not for me. Can tell I'm still trying though. Like, I am trying. It has impact. I mean, it is, uh, it does show up something. Look at that. This is giving me anxiety. <laughs> Welcome in to this calming, chill ASMR stream where the streamer is going. <laughs> when I was using mine, it was on A2 minimum. This is smaller than an A4. <laughs> in summary, I honestly think using these slightly watered down was really fun with the thinnest pen and, funnily enough, the thickest pen. Uh, so, for the thin one, we used all of these kind of pinkish looking tones here and it, it was just very lovely and, and uh, easy to use. For the thickest one, we used the green here and you can see thick, steady boy lines here. Look at that. Oh, you could do some real fun borders with that you could you could just go buck wild couldn't you if you knew what you were doing um the middle one for some reason did not feel as good i don't know why the middle one didn't feel as satisfying maybe it was the moss um color i don't know but i would say that the middle one like you don't even need because you could just have the eco boy and the big chonker and like your set. Oh, did I even clean that? Probably not. I will probably use these because this is actually really nice. I will not be using them with my regular black ink because that was uh, the kind of anxiety I do not want to put upon myself ever again. <laughs> For any kind of other fun inks, highly recommended. And you can get them as well if you go to Jackson's Art. I'm an art affiliate over there, don't you know? So yeah, thank you very much for hanging out with me. No, we're not gonna say that. <laughs> oh, he's taking. Oh, don't, don't, just. <laughs> Pe, like it's a joke. It's not actually. Yeah, you're not on. actually meant to start to. Well like, done, committing to the bit. <laughs> you should not be like going for the stream deck. <laughs> you can't see that, but he's actually operating the keyboard. <laughs>